All right, it's the next day, day two of our uh, five-speed swap in our 92 Legacy. Um, with the interior piece here, this Loyal having uh, the automatic seat belts and this here high-rise center console also had a two-piece console here where you had the shifter console and then the little cubby hole. Uh, with our five-speed and our cover plate, we're going to go with the single piece console out of the 89 GL. So in order to do that, this bracket here had to be swapped over to have the continuous console piece to match our shifter. Uh, now that we've gotten this far, we're going to drop the steering column. The reason for dropping the steering column is to access the pedal box assembly, which has to be chained out, changed out for our clutch pedal, so we have a clutch pedal. Uh, there is a, a hole in the a grommet in the firewall to allow for our clutch cable to pass through. Um, you can unbolt the pedal assembly, but you're going to be fighting the steering column to get it out. So I always pull the steering column out to do that. It makes it worlds easier. All right, we're in the process of pulling the steering column. You remove this pinch bolt on the steering yoke to allow the shaft to slide out, since it is a, a keyed, kind of grooved kind of spline there. Uh, you do have to remove the bolt entirely for it to pull through the rest of the way. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get the steering column out. You just want to wiggle it around so it pops out through this grommet in here. Did you undo all the connector harnesses and everything? Yeah. When we undo the steering column, you'll undo the three nuts that hold the ECU up, drop it down, unplug all the harnesses relative to the steering column. And then I'll show slide right out. And be sure to unplug your fuel pump relay and your ignition relay. All right, here we are under the dash where the steering column once was. Uh, obviously, this hole here is where the steering column goes through the firewall. And the steering column bolts up to this hole here and this hole here and drops down out of the way. And the ECU that we're looking at here normally goes across this way and sits exactly under the brackets on the steering column. Now that we have this apart, we're gonna remove the pedal box assembly, which what we're gonna do is pull the throttle cable out. It's just a plastic clip that snaps out. And then remove the pin on the brake pedal. There is a little plastic thing that kind of holds it together. You just pick that off of there. And uh, let's see if we can see it in here. Yeah, there we are. And to pull that pin through, that'll disengage the pedal from the rod that goes into the master cylinder. And then you'll be looking at the four bolts on the back of the assembly here, which go through and hold the master cylinder to the firewall. So there's those four bolts, and then these two bolts here, and then unplug your uh, brake light switch here. And then that'll uh, let you pull out your, your uh, pedal assembly. And like I noted before, we pulled the steering column out to have access to remove this from the car entirely. Underneath the car, we have disconnected the Y-pipe to give us clearance to drop the transmission. Uh, we've drained the transmission fluid out, which is good to do because otherwise you're going to have it spilling out of the drive shaft, output shaft, all day long as you drop it down. Uh, but so far, the drive shaft has been removed. There are four bolts on the differential end to remove the drive shaft. Two bolts at the carrier bearing here, and then it just unplugs from the transmission itself. So now that we have the transmission ready to come out, the axles have been removed with our uh, 3 16 drift punch. Uh, there should be enough wiggle room to slide the axle cups off, which we already have done here. And then lastly, we have this cross member here with two bolts on either side. When we're ready to drop this down, we'll place a jack under the transmission take those bolts out and just lower her down. The transmission will pitch down and slide back about three inches to clear the engine cross member and then just drag her out from under the car. As we can see up top we have our transmission ready to come out. The axles have been pulled off the axle stubs. The speedometer cable has been pulled out from the firewall here and the reason being is because we need to swap the cable over with our five speed because the automatics cable will be too short for that. Um, to go back together with the speedometer cable, we will have to pull the instrument cluster back in order to plug it in. 
Uh, in order to avoid a mess and to have less uh, bulk weight to try to wrangle, it's a good idea to pull the torque converter off the transmission just to save some weight. And uh, you will spill a little bit of fluid, but if you uh, pull it out and tip it down right away, then you can avoid much spillage. Remove the torque converter from the transmission. We did spill a little bit, but that was just uh, the time it took for me to pull it entirely off the stub there. Uh, there is a seal located in this transmission. If we were using this automatic transmission or had it apart for other reasons, uh, it's a good idea to change the seal because I have seen these seals leak before. And it's the kind of thing, you know, you're going to have to pull your motor out to change it. So if the motor's out, it's a good idea to take care of it anyway. As, like I said before, I've known several examples where this seal has leaked. Okay, now we are ready to remove our Subaru transmission. I now have a transmission jack underneath this transmission, which, to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever used a transmission jack. This is the first time I've ever had a transmission jack to use. I apologize for the tape ending on the last one where the actual dropping it down. But what we did is we had the transmission on the jack and then we tied a chain to the front cross member here on the car and used the engine hoist to raise the car up far enough to roll the jack out from underneath. 